Hi guys, what is up? It is exactly 11 o'clock right now. I am actually currently filming a mystery marathon, but I just need like a day in my life to just like get my shit together. I've been reading a lot recently and I've just like neglected my entire life. Like I'm running behind on videos I need to film and edit. I just have not cleaned my room. My whole life is a bit of a mess right now. I'm like taking a pause from the mystery marathon just to get my shit together. And when I was envisioning what I wanted this day to be, I did not expect sitting here and watching the Beyonce concert on Instagram live for like six hours, not six hours, for like three hours. I've been watching since like about 9.30, it's 11 now. And I'm not mad, I am absolutely not mad because it's September 4th right now in America. And I don't know why, I just like wanna watch this concert because if she announces something, if she announces the visuals, I wanna be there, I wanna be there. Because this is like my first actual solo studio album of Beyonce where I am like a huge fan. I started listening to Beyonce once I got, once Lemonade was out in 2016, like about like six, seven months after Lemonade was out, I started listening to Beyonce. And this is like the first solo studio album, which I am here for and I don't want to miss a single thing about it. I'm having so, so, so much fun. Beyonce is like my goal, my inspiration when it comes to work ethic, when it comes to working and I've been slapping on it. So I'm just like consuming as much Beyonce content as I can. I really want to watch Homecoming very soon on Netflix once again, because that movie just motivates me like no other, like no other. Anyways, I, I don't know if you guys care about me talking about Beyonce because I can literally do that without stopping for however many hours I can. Like I can literally go into so much backstory and so much of her history, so much of her past, so much of her artistry and so much of her music, her performance, her abilities, her capabilities. Stop. Okay, so I'm gonna keep watching the Beyonce concert right now. And okay, I can't focus if there's something in my earphone right now because she sounds absolutely amazing. I am gonna sit down and make my to-do list for the day. I have a business call. Ooh, that sounds so amazing to say. I have a business call and it's and it's relating to YouTube. I feel so amazing when I'm telling that to the camera right now. This is like a new step in my whole YouTube journey. You guys know I've been trying to make this my whole time thing and now it looks like I'm inching closer towards that. So I have a call at 12 p.m. I want to film the August wrap up today so I'm going to sit down and prepare like a little bit of an outline. I'm doing it tier ranking style so I need to download all of the book covers and I need to set up the tier ranking thing and to set up screen recording. I don't know like this vlog has no purpose. I just feel a lot more productive when I'm vlogging. That is my whole thinking behind this thing because whenever the camera is on, whenever I'm filming a vlog, I am much more productive. Otherwise, I'm very, very, very prone to just sitting in my bed, watching Instagram, watching YouTube, or either reading. And I don't want to do that. I want to focus and be productive today. I don't have a class today. So I want to make use of all of that time to get at least halfway up to speed with my whole content thing i'm so behind on instagram reviews as well because i don't do my bookstagram that seriously because it's just very fun for me to talk about books over there in real time that's how i made mopping the floor so if you guys hear that in the background i can't help it also the washing machine is going on as you guys saw and i can't help with the noise i live in india i live with people so i can't help with the noise deal with it at least for like a few months once i move out you'll be free of the noise and i will be free of the noise so that, when that will happen that will happen but i am gonna do that oh yeah what we were talking about instagram yeah i don't do instagram that seriously I don't do that like i love talking about books over there like in real time on instagram stories i just like, honestly spam sometimes a lot but i am very behind on reviews because all of the review copies i get they expect me to post on instagram as well regardless of how many numbers of followers i have so i and i also like do like to post over there when it comes to reviews because when i'm writing reviews down it 
feels a lot clearer in my head what I feel about the book. So that's why I'm doing that. I have like four books which I need to review on Instagram. Then I don't like to post reviews back to back. So I need some like random filler book start post. So I need to do that as well. I'm gonna plan out and take out all of the photos, all of the reels I need for our bookstagram today as well. I'm not gonna do any sort of reading today because I just honestly need a little bit of a break from reading. Not that I'm like in a reading slump or anything. Like I can literally sit down and binge like two books back to back right now. But I'm like, like I'm like picking myself away from it so that I can focus on other, other things. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna stop talking. I'm gonna plug my earphones in try to focus on making my to-do list because I love, love Beyonce. Like, oh my God, like you guys don't, like I in words cannot explain how much I love Beyonce. I literally can't explain how much I love Beyonce. Like over here on my laptop stickers, there's one over here. It says, what would Beyonce do? Then we have the formation sleigh over here. That's just two of the stickers over here. Then I also have it stenciled all the way over here i love beyonce i love beyonce i love beyonce so much i even the main thing i have a beyonce tattoo i have a b in honor of beyonce because she's like the artist of my life and yeah that's about it like big big to-do list i have such a big to-do list also it's my mom's birthday so the evening is gonna go and all of that stuff like dinner and just celebrating cutting cake and stuff so i have very limited amount of time it is 11 11 right now oh make a wish we have like seven hours which i feel like if i like take out one hour for lunch and just like doing other stuff taking coffee out and stuff six hours is enough time to do all of this but at the same time is it that is the main thing is ours is like is it gonna be enough like that's my main question right now and i don't know what to do i have oh i'm not even like oh fuck like i want to call my bank i'm gonna get started and clean my room first so that by the time it's the time for the call i will have done like clean my room dust my bookshelves and stuff like that i also want to film a reel of me reorganizing this whole like whatever you're sitting on because you're sitting on books that is what, what you're sitting on i have a stack literally a stack over here so i need to clean a lot of this space so that i can work here now that i have this office chair which i which i got from my sister so i'm gonna get started with that i'm gonna first off clean my room i need to change my sheets and then we'll i oh my god i feel so overwhelmed i feel so overwhelmed i feel so overwhelmed right now like i have so much shit to do I have so much shit to do okay i'll see you
sweat I have on me right now. But literally dusting my shelves took like two minutes. Two minutes for the shelf and two minutes for the shelf. This one was the longest one. But I feel so good already. Now all I have to do is change my sheets and like get ready in literally how what's that? In literally 12 minutes. I have only 12 minutes before I need to get on the call. So I need to change my sheets, wash my face and just cool down a little bit. And yeah. Two minutes to go. I'm ready with two minutes to go. So yeah, I'm gonna connect my webcam. That's right, I have to attach my webcam separately. Right now, at this exact moment, Beyonce is performing Drunk in Love and I'm gonna have to miss the Dubai version. I'm gonna have to miss that end run because of this call. Ah! Oh my God, what the fuck? But no, this is like a new moment for me and I'm gonna prioritize it first. Okay, I'll see you, bye. Hello? Hi. Yeah, yeah, no problem. Yeah, yeah, and, like very natural instead of like sounding very like uh, scripted script or something like that. Yeah, no, definitely that is like a priority for me. It's rough. <sighs> I honestly just need some time to sit down and just like take this in because this is gonna go in my gratitude journal. This is gonna go in my gratitude journal. Okay, the team was very, very sweet. So I'm excited to see what comes out of it. I am now gonna work on a few things which I need to do for the call. And let's see how everything works out in the end. I just need to internalize it right now. I'm just gonna sit for like the next half hour and just like breathe it in and just like get it in my mind and my soul and just like absorb it. I don't know if this will relate with you guys but this is like a new milestone. It's like a new stepping stone, a new journey, like a new point in my journey as a content creator and I hope you guys are as happy as I am. What is up? It is 5 p.m. I last spoke to you once I was done with my call. That was like about 12.40. A lot has happened since then, but a lot also has not happened. Like I just sat down and focused on like the Instagram side of the things which I needed to do. I was looking at my profile and I'm like a huge sucker for aesthetics and like having like a theme and having each post go like I like having my post go well when looking together and for the past few weeks my post have my posts have not been looking that well so I just spent like a good one hour just trying to get everything back in order and I spent time like planning everything that I need to post, like all of the posts, all of the reviews that need to go live. I spent another half an hour just trying to take pics for the posts which are supposed to go live this week. So I got like a like seven, eight posts banked. I'm not gonna sit down right now and schedule all of them because it's already 5 p.m. and the day is done almost. I was supposed to film the video today itself, but I think so I'm gonna film it at night. It's supposed to be like a tier ranking thing. So my thought was to just set up the camera over here, put on my ring light and film at night. We'll do that. Let's see. I've not filmed a video in I've not filmed a video at night in literally months. So I don't know how how it's gonna work, whether it's gonna work or not. Like I'm just like I don't want to do it right now so I'm gonna focus on the rest of the things in my to-do list let's see what is there for me as my journal this vlog is just me sitting over here in this chair and just doing the things that need to be do like that need to be done is not gonna happen today so I'm gonna cross it off and push it forward all that is left for me is to just start on with the YouTube video but it's 5 p.m. so my room faces like a little playground and it's 5 p.m. So the kids are gonna start 
the kids are gonna pour in and start playing and it's just gonna get too 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 chaotic it's gonna get very chaotic i've been productive i've been doing like a bad job vlogging it but the main intention and the main goal behind this vlog is for me to get these things done and not to make a vlog out of them the vlog is happening and it's gonna happen so maybe you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna sit down and write down the reviews so that i can just copy and paste them when i need to post them hi guys what is up it is 7 30 at night or 7 30 in the evening i'm still at my desk what's new i just got done writing up three reviews so i'm set for this entire week and i feel like i'm gonna sign off the vlog over here right now I am just gonna get ready. I'm gonna have my mom's birthday celebration. We're gonna cut some cake. We're gonna have some good dinner. And then at night, I'll film the video. If I have, if I don't have like a food hangover, I'll film the video tonight or I'll film it tomorrow. I, either way, you're gonna see it tomorrow itself. So I'm gonna sign off the vlog over here right now. Let me know how you guys liked it. I kind of enjoyed doing this day in my life type of video. I've not done like a single day in my life in in months, in months. Honestly, in a year. It could be a year, but yeah, I really enjoyed it right now. And I will see you soon.